Welcome to the BuildFire Workshop, where we learn how to build new features on the BuildFire platform. Today, we're going to learn how to deploy our first plugin. Let's dive right in. So now that we've developed our first plugin, and if you all remember, this is a task manager plugin where a user can come in and mark uh, preset tasks as completed or not. Uh, very simple plugin. What we want to do is actually get this into an app and uh, see if it works. So uh, going back to our code, uh, if we all recall that there is the control folder and the widget folder, these are the two that we've been focusing on development initially. But there's also the resources folder of which we open up and we see there's two major icons in there. These are just dummy hello world icons. But there are two icons that'll uh, be very uh, prominent when we actually go into the live control panel uh, for users of our plugin to be able to find our plugin. And we'll go over that in just a moment. Uh, the main part that we want to go over right now is plugin.json. Now, those of you familiar with NPM uh, know package.json and think of it as a very similar um, purpose. So the plugin.json, when we upload our plugin, tells us um, how we can, um, uh, how we define uh, this plugin based on who is the author, what is the plugin name, the description, uh, and so on. So the author is myself, Daniel Hindi, and let's call this a uh, task manager, um, let's call it a simple task manager, and I'm going to make it even more distinct, demo. And uh, we'll give it a description here. This is a demo on how to create a build fire plugin. Uh, and then your support email, uh, in this case, we'll keep it the same, devsupport at buildfire.com. We do have uh, the content as true, uh, and this is the, uh, the part of the control that has content, design, and settings. And uh, just to show you an example of that, I'm going to move over to a live control panel to give you the analogy. So as you can see here, this is an example uh, test app that has content, design, it doesn't have settings, uh, but there's uh, the three common one is common uh, uh, tabs are content design uh, and settings. You could also have some custom tabs as well. And the way we define if these are on or off, and again in our control here, we have content design we didn't really do anything with and settings we didn't do anything with. We can technically delete these two folders and still be okay. Let me go ahead and do that. And uh, let me go here and delete. And come here and delete this as well, just to prove that they are not needed. And in our plugin JSON, I say I don't need design and I don't need um, settings. And so when you come here, you'll only see content. Uh, and when it's uploaded, it's so. Widget uh, is the property where we uh, basically indicate um, if we have any widget services, and uh, we'll go that go through that in a future episode, um, that basically talks about um, there's uh, a service that can be run in the background of the app, uh, and it starts when the app uh, launches. It starts up immediately and is constantly running in the background. There's no user interface for it, but it's a service running in the background, something like a a daemon or a window service if you're familiar with those. Features are basically any low level permissions that we need for the features. You could also look at the documentation. So things like GPS, camera, Bluetooth, and so on. Anything that's, that uh, basically needs a permission from the user when they install the app. Um, we say this plugin needs camera, this plugin needs Bluetooth, uh, or so on. And so it tells the app that you need to create another hard build of which a new IPA and an APK will be sent over um, to be submitted to the App Store and Google Play. Um, and those are the only times where uh, it won't go through what we call a soft build, the over-the-air updates, versus a hard build, is whenever you add a new feature that needs a new permission. And this is which languages that we support, and we'll, we'll go over that in future episodes as well. Um, 
there's a lot more settings that you can add here. For example, uh, additional custom tabs uh, and so on. But for now, we just want to see how this uploads into uh, the BuildFire platform. Now, what we want to do is move over to dev.buildfire.com, which is the dev portal. And if you haven't registered, go ahead and register. I've already registered, and so I'm going to go ahead and log in. And so here we land on the developer portal. Now, hopefully this is not the first time you see it, but I'll go through a quick uh, update here. So the developer portal has a lot of good information on how to develop um, a plugin. You'll see a bunch of videos here and links to the API documentation, our open source GitHub, uh, iOS and Android emulators, um, how you can contact support, access to our SDK statuses and our Twitter feed as well. But what we want to do is go to the plugin manager side of things, and this is where we upload uh, plugins. Now, I previously have uploaded uh, plugins here. So what we're going to do is go into our folder. And again, if you're on a PC, it's very similar. And this is our BuildFire SDK folder. What we want to do is find the plugins folder, open that up, and find our uh, plugin. Now, when you get more advanced, you may have multiple plugins in here. But for now, we only have the one uh, my plugin. Now, what we want to do is zip this up either from the root or from within here. Um, a big thing is you want to try not to get that get folder if you're using get or any unnecessary uh, files or folders because it would make your upload much bigger. Um, so if we just um, highlight the files that we need and even a few files here we can remove. But let's go ahead and uh, what we want to do is compress this. Now on Macs, that'll just create a zip file. If you're on Windows, um, you would just go do the Windows way of uh, zipping up a file, but either way should work. And once we do that, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to upload a brand new plugin. And so we navigate to uh, the same folder and we have the archive.zip that we created. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that and you'll see it begins to upload. Now, if you try to upload a plugin with a name that's been used before, uh, it'll stop you. Now, notice there's that Hello World icon that we saw before, and that was basically uh, in here, where inside of Resources icon. So we can definitely change that to something more custom to us. And this is going to be the marketing image uh, by default. There's more advanced ways where you can upload videos and, and GIFs as well, but this is the default way. And so uh, you'll see Simple Task Manager came from our plugin JSON name, Simple Task Manager. And as long as that's unique in the system, you should be able to reserve that name and that name is yours. And then any follow up where you want to update, you just click on update. And it says, is it backwards compatible, meaning you're not going to break anything? Um, did you add any additional features? No. And is this a QA version or a production version? So BuildFire will also allow you to keep two separate copies, one for production that goes out and one for QA for testing. I'm going to go ahead and say this is production since nobody's actually using this. And then you upload your file again. Once this happens, it'll blast that out to all apps using your, uh, your uh, plugin instantly. All around the world, um, within seconds, everybody has the update. Um, once they check for updates or open up the app, again, it'll download the update for them. Now, uh, that's all fine and dandy. It's here in our plugin manager, but how do I actually get it to an app? Now, by default, uh, BuildFire issue issues you a test app uh, that you can go through, and usually it's your name-test app. Uh, or if you have a uh, enterprise app, and you want to issue a license, you can come into the license, issue a brand new license for um, your uh, uh, plugin. And when you come here in your marketplace, so if I go to uh, marketplace, uh, if you have this visible, if you don't, you're probably on a tier that doesn't allow you to install new features. Now remember in the control panel, um, plugins are called features. Um, that's just something you want to be aware of. And so I'm going to go ahead and issue a brand new license key here. Again, if this is your uh, BuildFire issue test app, it'll automatically install your plugin. But just so I can show you, I'm going to go in here and create a new license key. Generate a new key for Simple Task Manager. I can uh, limit the amount of installs this happens. So think of it as license seats. So I can say this is only allowed 
two uh, on two apps or unlimited installs. Now remember, this isn't instances of the plugin. This is just how many apps are allowed to install this license key. And then you can email that out. But I'm going to go ahead and generate this key. And so I'll copy this. Paste it in here. Hit install. And so you'll see this feature has been installed. So if I type in task, you'll see the simple task manager demo uh, available here by Daniel Hindi. Again, the by Daniel Hindi came from the author and the description came from this description. And if I click in here and show the image, that came from image.png. So you should be able to uh, modify all these um, any which way you like. And so I'm going to go ahead and add an instance of this. And I'm going to say this is um, task list demo one. I'm going to add that to my side menu. Okay, and it brought me to it. Now notice in the plugin tester, I already have two um, tasks already set up. Now remember, Every uh, Buildfire knows to separate the data out from each plugin instance. Each plugin instance gets its own fragmented uh, database so that they don't that you don't have any data bleeding in between. So if we go back to the control panel and say uh, my task one and add that in, you could see it works. And if I add my task two and add that in, it's added in. And no matter how much I refresh here, it knows to separate out that data, right? I can even go back to my marketplace and find the task manager again, create another instance of it and say, I want this to be, um, uh, let's call this development tasks. I'm going to add that to my side menu. So now you can see there's task list demo one and dev tasks. I'm going to go ahead and click on dev tasks and dev tasks is empty. Let me make sure I didn't lose anything. I can come back here and you can see my task one is here and my task two is available. You can open this up now through the previewer app. Um, so in the developer portal, if you download uh, the iOS uh, previewer app, which is the emulator or the Android emulator, what it will do is it'll actually uh, allow you to um, get a preview of your app uh, on the phone so you can give it a test on both. Or if you have an existing app, you can just load it to your existing app and test it there as well. Uh, so this is our first plugin. And again, uh, as we change things here, it'll be changed automatically uh, for, for everybody. So if we make, make a change, upload it in the developer portal, uh, immediately in the control panel, you'll see the changes uh, made for everybody. So you don't have to worry about deployments uh, and rolling back and what if half, half of it goes through or not. It goes out completely uh, automatically for you. If there's a bug that you notice and you want to change it, you just fix the bug, deploy out again, and immediately everybody from the apps to the control panel uh, get the update. So hopefully this helps you get your first plugin installed on an app so that you can uh, begin real development and testing on real phones. Uh, and I hope this helps. And next episode, we'll go through the other databases um, that we have, as well as push notifications, analytics, and so on. I hope this helps. Bye-bye. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with our latest content. If you do so, you'll also be entered into a raffle where you can win some Build Fire merchandise. Thanks for watching.